hello everybody and welcome back to Musings by Nikki. I'm here today with the final flip through of all five of the needle books that we have been working through in my needle book series, start to finish. Um, this is going to take a minute, so I will try to remember to put timestamps um, in, but it would be kind of hard. Maybe it would just be like next one, next one, next one. Anyway, um, we've got five to flip through. These four are similar. These two and these two are the same sizes, essentially. And this one is that first one that I kind of worked on. Um, so we'll just maybe go in that order, huh? Oops, excuse me here. Okay, so I've got my little notes stuck in there so I can remember. <laughs> this one is the very first one that I worked on. This one is um, part of a design team project for Tracy Fox Creative. And <coughs> I had all the information for that in the original video where I worked through this one. But it is using her um, newer uh, fabric swatch kit, sewing fabric swatches. So... The way this one is slightly different um, is that this one I kind of imagine being something that you could use uh, as like a to keep if you were a sewer and you made lots of quilts or you know garments or that sort of stuff. This would be a way that you could keep track of all your projects as kind of like memory keeping for your projects, maybe, because there's a lot of little sample cards in here that come from Tracy's kit. So um, all of these have the quilted covers, and if you're interested in making these or how I made these, um, I have, like I said, a whole series on this if you haven't been following along, and uh, we talk about how I make the covers but um, they are small quilted pieces and I do it in a couple different ways. And so this, they all have a, a quilted cover on them and then they have a journal inside. So inside we've got little scraps, uh, little samples or scraps of some different laces and trims, a little mini um, embroidery floss here. Then we've got some pins up along the top and some safety pins in there as well. And then the scissor pocket on here, um, you open this up and there's a little charms on the bottom there. And the scissors come out sideways. All of them have a pair of these scissors. Um, they're just different topped. This one's kind of a coppery rose gold um, color, but all of the, all of these needle books have a different pair of scissors. Some are gold, some are silver. So that comes down. Then in this pocket, um, the, each one the, has a, two big pockets and there are some labels in this little packet. And then these are some of the sample cards and I'll show you in a minute how those work. Then here in this big pocket we've got some, um, here's just tags, that's a tag. <laughs> And then here's how the sample cards work. So they fold, you fold that top part down, you can put a label on there, and then you can attach in there, either by stapling or gluing, a fabric sample. So this is what I'm saying is like, say you made a little girl's dress out of this fabric. You could attach it in here, and then on the back you could say what the date was and who you made it for. And it would be kind of a really fun way to keep track of your projects, right? Or if you did that with quilting. Then these pockets, this is some hand embroidery, um, and I turned that into a, a pocket. Here's a little sample of some lace. Then up here we have two button cards, and I just sewed some sewed on some random buttons that you, you know, certainly could reuse them on things. Then we've got this cute little hanger charm with some ribbon on it. And in here, there are just a bunch of more of these large, large sample cards. Um, and they come in all these really cool colors. This, These totally remind me of fall. <laughs> um, but there are a whole bunch of them. And you can write on them and attach those labels that are in the other pocket. And then here on this side, there are some pockets. There are a bunch of different samples. So in here, there are some medium-sized sample cards. And the tops are already folded over on those. Then in here there are some very small ones and the tops are not folded down on those. And then here are some teeny weeny baby tags and they're so adorable. But you could punch a hole in that and tie it to something. 
These are great little gift tags. So if you wanted to, if you were giving an item that you made to somebody, you could punch that and just write to from on there. And then each one of these needle books is going to have um, a journal in the back. And this is again, where you could keep track of your sewing projects or whatever. And so this one, um, has papers by Tracy Fox. These are her random papers. This one is not as heavily de decorated. Uh, there are just a few little pieces of ephemera and some of her papers, her random papers. But there's lots of journaling space in here. So this is really just meant to be something, you know, a place where you could journal. Um, I've used some of her pieces of ephemera from the kit throughout a few little things. She's got some buttons in there, so I created a little button cluster. I've put some of the labels in here, but there's just lots of places for you to, this is a nice little piece of ephemera, there are lots of places for you to write and keep track of things. I did print some of the papers from the kit on the back. I have some of this um, measuring tape ribbon throughout all the journals, and then little eyelet lace. In the center, there are a couple of charms on this one. So there's a pair of scissors and a little Singer sewing machine. So you get the idea. Like I said, I kept this one pretty unembellished just because um, I wanted there to be plenty of writing. I'm, I really am imagining someone being able to keep track of all their sewing projects. And how fun would that be? A little pieces of ephemera there. So there we go. That's that one. This entire thing, and then it just ties back in here to keep it into the journal or into the needle book cover. This entire um, needle book here, it closes with elastic here, or not elastic, it's elastic lace. This one, the journal has 48 pages. It measures, and these measurements are rough because, you know, they're fabric and movable, but roughly five and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches, and it's roughly two inches thick or wide. You know, it's not really a spine necessarily, but <laughs> so that is that one. Then I made two smaller ones, and these are with my, um, one of my newest kits, or my newest kit. It's just simply called Needlebook. <laughs> and so I used that kit to create these two. And they both measure roughly five and a quarter by six and three quarters or seven, depending on which one. And they're both about two um, and a half inches thick. So they're, they're chunky needle books, right? They are chunky. <laughs> so let's look at this one quick. They have this simple button closure and on the front there's a bulb pin with a couple little sewing charms. They also have a quilted cover. There are lots of little strings attached um, around the edges of things. And you can see where the felt is sewn in, the felt insert. And then to open this up, you just take the, the loop off. It's a long closure and it comes off. But you're going to want it to stay there because these are chunky guys. <laughs> So we open it up and there is again a sampling of a variety of different things, laces, some vintage ribbons. This is a vintage um, piece from like a garter. <laughs> and uh, then here's a piece of um, hook and eye that I think was saved maybe from like a busk on a corset or something similar to that or a long closure on the back of something. Then uh, in the pockets here, this comes from my needlebook kit. So, and then this is some vintage measuring tape and I've just wrapped that around the button card. And some of these will have buttons on them and some of them don't. It just depends on what I was feeling at the moment. <laughs> Those are in there. Then in the big pocket, there are some pieces of sewing ephemera that just essentially become places where you can take notes, journaling cards. They'll slide back in the end. Then in the center here, we've got some pins in the in the little pin bar right there. And then in this pot, we have the cute little, um, each one of them has one of these cute little hanger charms. And then in here, we've got 
a string card in this pocket. These are all fabric pockets with different trims on them. Then um, each one of them will have one of these big scissor pockets. So this unravels from the button and opens up and then that's where you find your scissors. This one has kind of a dark um, aged bronze look. These are all reproduction, um, reproduction vintage is the word I was looking for. And then inside of there, there are a bunch of different types of sewing needles and some vintage uh, safety pins and sewing, um, sewing pins as well. Then this just comes, excuse me, over the scissors and wraps back around. And then running up the center of this one is some ribbon that comes over and attached to the bottom of that is a little needle keeper. So you could stick sewing needles and things into that. And it just kind of goes wherever you want it to go inside of the needle book. And then in this pocket, there is some more big ephemera, large ephemera pieces. And in the back, there's a little button charm. There is a faux needle keeper, like where sewing needles would come inside for your sewing machine and stuff. There's a thread card. And then there's a vintage piece of hook and eyes. And I love how they were just sewn right to the thing. That's really cool. And then in this one, we've got a journal that has 68 pages. It is closed by some vintage um, measuring tape. And this one, like I said, is using my um, needle and thread kit. And that's what these pages are from. Or not needle and thread, that's the other one. This is from my needle book kit. These are a little bit more decorated. Um, they have a little extra kinds of stuff in there. Some measuring tape and fabric and lace. Uh, embellishments kind of throughout measuring tape ribbon, um, little scissor charm, here's some fabric pocket, um, and the fabric pocket doll. And then I've used uh, a lot of pattern paper to make some ribbons and embellishments in here as well. I also used some ephemera from, um, tailor-made journals. I used a kit. There's just some little embellishments. I used a kit from tailor-made journals. It's sewing ephemera. So I've printed that out and used that throughout as well. Here's a couple little pockets. This one flips open. And then here is a tag. It's a large journaling card behind that belly band. Sewing mends the soul. May all your ups and downs in life be with a needle and thread. I liked that one. <laughs> then there's another belly band with a large piece of ephemera. Excuse me if I'm flipping kind of fast, but we've got a lot to get through. This um, little piece of design has some thread just behind it, kind of. Get it? Thread? Get it? <laughs> this paper bag's got um, a large butterfly tag in there and then a couple of pieces of ephemera in the front pocket. More bits and pieces here. Some of these are thicker because I've backed them onto cardstock, a heavy cardstock. More just design elements up and down the sides. Some more tags and journaling cards, little pieces of decoration. more of that measuring tape. So plenty of room to write, but lots of fun little bits of interest. There's another little Singer sewing machine charm there. Beautiful things come together one stitch at a time. So a pocket. And then there's the end of that journal. So that one has 68 pages and all together this um, needle book measures five and a quarter by seven with a two and a half inch depth width. What do you call it? <laughs> um, so we'll close that back up.
they have such a great hand feel because of the they're chunky and they're quilted and it makes them feel really fun all right let me stick my paper back in there so I know when I go to list them these will all be listed in my shop as soon as this video is live these should be in my shop um, this one is five and a quarter by six and three quarters and it's it I say it's two inches thick but I think it's thicker than that um, some vintage measuring tape again a little sample of embroidery floss some some more of that um, large like hook and eye busk and uh, some seam binding some vintage seam binding or um, braid like bottom of a skirt braid and then I've put some vintage um, Rick rack on a little card there and then there are a couple of pieces of ephemera from the kit Oops. here's the little hanger charm on this one and again there are in the pocket here there are just some big pieces of ephemera journaling cards places to keep notes here is the big scissor pocket on this one and it has kind of a gold colored scissor in there. There's an, um, call I should be checking. Yep. I'm in, <laughs> I was like, I should be checking that I'm in frame. There's a nice little butterfly decal on the front there. And then again, that pocket front of that pocket flips open and vintage, uh, safety pins and sewing pins and then some sewing needles. And then that closes and winds around this little faux pearl button down here. Then up in the pocket, we've got a thread card and um, a little needle card envelope. And then here we've got some more of those teardrop pearl pins. Pocket has more large pieces of ephemera, button cards, thread calendars. And then we've got another little charm hanging off here and in the back. Um, I was blessed with a box of a bunch of random sewing ephemera and so this was like somebody testing their machine. I thought that was kind of fun so that got included with this one. And then I have a button card with no buttons on it. Another one of those uh, vintage hook and eye cards with a couple still sewn on there. And then another um, piece of ephemera. This is a little sewing needle uh, container. What do you call it? Envelope. This journal is tied up with some ribbon top and bottom, um, and it has 60 pages. The journal itself is closed with some very old silk ribbon. And this is using that same, um, my same needlebook kit. It is very similar to the other one, so we'll flip through this rather quickly. A lot of the same types of things. Oh, that's two pieces there. Sewing paper ribbons, some of the little buttons have um, measuring tape and some little buttons, paper buttons have pattern paper behind them. This belly band, some little mini pockets here with some pieces in them. Life is a beautiful tapestry. These are little paper buttons that come in the kit. They're awesome because they um, they're awesome because they are flat, so they don't bulk up your journal, but you still get little pictures of buttons. This thread has some, you know, thread wrapped up behind it again. Big belly band here with some pieces of ephemera. Some of my daughter Joy's patterned uh, polka dot paper that she makes for me. There's fabric backing behind some of these sentiments. There's another big um, paper button that I punched the holes out of and tied a string through. Some different little sewn on trims. There's a pocket there. Some... This one's got fabric. Uh, behind it, the little embellishment. There's a 
pocket up there with some ephemera in it. All the ephemera, those little pieces, journaling cards are all little reproduction um, pieces from like different sewing companies and thread companies and notions companies. So that just ties back up. It lays in the back and then it ties over the top like such. I liked this one I was saying in my last video. I like this one because it kind of reminds me of a present. How it's got the cross ribbon there and bows. It reminds me of a present. All right. So that is that one. And stick my note back in there so I don't lose track. Then I have two larger ones, um, um, slightly larger. And these are made with my needle and thread kit. And they're, again, slightly larger. But the covers are still quilted as such. Um, and they still have that great hand feel. This one measures uh, roughly five and a half by eight and a quarter. And I say it has, it's like a two and a half inch spine or thickness. <laughs> it closes um, with some elastic lace and this old leather button on front. And then when I open up, it's the same thing, but these ones are lined with felt on the inside. And it's a lot of the same stuff, some vintage trims, some vintage um, measuring tape, some more of that hook and eye busk. Then we've got pockets over here. These have buttons on them in this one. Uh, and then it's got a little scissor charm there. Then again, we've got some of the same ephemera in the big pocket. Then we come to the middle and we've got a scissor pocket, only these are a little bigger this time because <laughs> there's more room. This one's got some printed, I printed some of the TaylorMade Journal kit onto paper or, uh, fabric. I did that a while ago when I was making journal uh, needle books before. This one's got a bright gold scissor in it. And then you open it up and the same thing. There are some vintage pins and um, vintage sewing stuff in there. Then this closes back up behind this button, winds around. And there's a scissor charm on the bottom of that. Then here in the pockets, we've got one, another piece of that vintage hook and eye, and then a thread card here. And then there's a row of those teardrop pearl um, pins stuck in there. Some more of the large journaling card ephemera in there. This hanger charm, whoops, has a little ribbon on it. So it's kind of fraying on the end to make a little fringe. Then um, this one has another row of uh, pin holder. And then there's, this is a vintage thing about how to use your needle threader. And then this card is a needle card that actually comes in my kit. And I just put some needles into it. And then a thread card again, and another one of the needle keepers or a needle envelope. This one also has running up the center of it some thread or some trim that attaches to another needle keeper that can just go in anywhere in the journal. This one's journal is held in with a little button closure. Yes, I sewed a buttonhole on my machine. And uh, the journal in this one is closed with some very old um, cloth measuring tape. And it has 60 pages. And um, there's an envelope up here. And then this one, like I said, is made with my needle and thread kit. And I just shrunk it down um, to fit the size journal that I needed to make. So it comes with all these tags and pieces of ephemera. It's a little bit larger kit. Um, it comes with these corner pockets. It's a larger kit than the needle and thread one. It makes a full-size journal, is what I mean. <laughs> but same types of embellishments, pattern paper, ruffles. Um, there's a little felt, uh, fabric pocket here with some pieces of ephemera in there. Flip-outs. This is from that kit. Same kinds of little fabric embellishments. There is this fun little dress form. And so I made um, a little skirt on the dress form there. 
that was fun. You'll see a different one in another in the other journal. It's a big pocket with some pieces of ephemera. Some lace paper with a little embroidery thing in it. That's from my kit. That's in the kit. That is in the kit. Large pocket. Little um, bobbin with some a little bow on top there. So these have a little bit more decoration. That's a page from my kit. There you go. Here's another one of those envelope pockets where we've got multiple layers with multiple layers of ephemera. It's another flip out. This pocket on the back. Stuff in it. There's a little circle element that comes in my kit, and I've just made it into a little pocket there. More fabric. A fabric pocket. The tag and the little butterfly element. And there's the end of that one. So, again, this one has 60 pages in it. And this entire one measures roughly eight and a half by, or eight and a quarter by five and a half. And it just buttons closed again. <clears throat> and the whole thing closes like so. And I stick my note back in. I think as I'm sitting here flipping through, I think what I'll do is list them in order that I flipped through them. So, um, if you're watching this and you have a particular one that you're interested in, uh, just look at the order that it came in the flip through. And I will try to do that down in the um, description or in the timestamps. I'll say journal number one, number two, number three. So that way you can kind of differentiate which ones. Also, you can see them in the pictures, obviously, in the Etsy listing. So this is the last one. This is the one that we just finished um, together in the last video. And so this will clearly be number five. <laughs> and it is roughly five and a half by eight and a quarter. It is a two and a half inch chunk in this. Um, and this journal has 64 pages. So here we go. We've got some vintage pieces. We've got this vintage piece of supporters. I, I was saying I, I'm not sure if that's from like socks or overalls or some sort of garter something. But it's a cool uh, lace and it's got this nice punched tin label on it. It's really cool. Uh, then the pocket here, we've got a little charm with some thread and a button. This unwinds and the scissors in here are this lovely shiny silver. There is some hand crocheted lace that I've put on the front as like an applique here with, uh, you know, a bunch of laces. And then it flips open and we've got the same variety assortment of, of uh, pins and needles in there. And then it wraps back around this button. Whoops. And there's a scissor charm at the bottom of that one. Again, more of the same large ephemera in the pocket. We've got our lineup of um, needles, the, the large uh, teardrop corsage pins in the needle keeper. And then in this pocket, I've got another one of the thread cards. And then in my recent finds from Dorothy's house, I also have this little tiny needle keeper and it's vintage and it's adorable. And so I thought this one gets that one in it. It also has some of that, um, more of that sewn together cards, old vintage cards of um, hook and eye. And then it has a card of buttons that I've just sewn on. And this one does not have any buttons. And then it has also, excuse me here, 
there we go it has its little hanger charm with some yellow ribbon on there more pieces of large ephemera in there in the back pocket we have one of the needle cards from my kit we've got a little uh we've got a little charm here with the sewing machine and a button and then we've got a thread card and then this is um i believe it was for hook and eyes as well and it is an old vintage um, package for them and it says that you got two dozen in here for five cents so tell me where you can get that deal anymore and in the back this one ties in with the measuring tape ribbon as well and this journal uh, does have a closure on it that is made the same way as those other ones so the button closure right that comes off like this I did off camera put a little um, piece of ephemera on the cover of this journal just because you know it was sitting there and I felt like it and I wanted to use up all the pieces that I had left on my desk so I did this was one of the final pieces and I put it on the front this journal has 64 pages in it it is using the same kits as uh, the last one that we just flipped through um, so these pockets and this ephemera come from my uh, kit needle and thread kit and I will just again and with tailor-made journals. So I will go through this rather quickly. Oh, that one doesn't open. This one opens though. Those are so cute. Like little paper doll outfits. Some of that measuring tape trim. More of the pattern paper ruffles. Some more charms with little buttons and buttons and sewing machines and needles so there's a big pocket here little thread toppers here this this little dress form has a lace skirt on it right cute and a little shimmery gold bow there we go. large journaling card behind this belly band here a vintage sewing machine lace on there another button a real button and a little sewing charm journaling card lots of sewing all the elements are sewn on the tag has a little fabric topper Behind this little guy is a tuck spot here, and we've got a couple of pieces of ephemera, a tag. And there's the end of that journal. So this one, like I said, 64 pages, button closure here on the journal itself. And then that one ties in with this ribbon. And you know you don't need the close the, the the way that these all go into the backs here because they're fabric covered it kind of holds to itself and once you close all of this so um you know they don't need to be super tight in the back there they just need to keep it essentially in place so all right well that is all of these guys that is all of these journals um like i said i will just list them they'll be in the shop listed in order of appearance how's that sound <laughs> in order of appearance so this pink one would be first i don't remember which of these and then this one and this one um so one two three four five so if you are interested go look in the shop right now that's where um 
they will be if they're not there then it means they're gone and thank you so much for your interest thank you for coming along on this journey with me it was super fun um i have thoroughly enjoyed all the steps of making these journals needlebook journals and i hope you guys have too um i am looking at some next projects sitting right over there on my desk so i'm super excited for that and i will hope to bring you guys along for some of that crafting and eventually flip through there too i hope that you guys are having a wonderful morning afternoon evening or middle of the night whatever time it is on whatever side of this fantastic globe of ours that we all live on and share and until i see you guys next time i hope that you're safe i hope you get to do something creative and um, i hope that you take care and God bless you. Bye, guys.